All right, people, I got a crazy story for y'all. This is just absolutely outlandish. Um, but it's also kind of uh, proof that, you know, people can be assholes just for the hell of it and can probably get away with it simply because they're maybe, I don't know, a, a teacher at a school, um, a high ranking uh, person in some job or whatever, right? Um, but yeah, people, people can be assholes and simply get away with it. Um, so I really don't know how to start this. I've started it. I started this intro like quite a few times now and just didn't sound good. And this one doesn't even sound good either, but we're just going to roll with it and continue. Um, so what is this story and how does it start? How does it end? But of course, that's a fucking story, right? Um, <laughs> so this happened when I was in junior high, fifth grade, where I went fifth grade was considered junior high. And in that grade, we had a bunch of different required, required uh, extracurricular stuff. It's like we had to have band, we had to have PE, we would had to have uh, art class, right? We had to have a bunch of stuff in fifth grade. And then once we hit sixth grade, we had a choice of uh, what extracurricular class we had. But we'd still have to go to PE, I believe, yeah. But we wouldn't have art class or band or whatever we chose right so we didn't have like a whole bunch of different stuff but so yeah that's how it kind of works I, I know it works differently for a lot of other people so so i'm explaining how it works and just to get an idea of the story so i was in fifth grade and um i remember going to art class and i hated art i did not want to be in art i i it just wasn't for me um, I liked looking at art, and I still do, I like looking at art, but I just can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do any of that, it's just, it's just not in my blood. Um, but I always thought art was kind of cool, and I kind of picked it up a little bit again in high school, but then dropped it, but that's besides the point. During this time period, I did not like art, but I was forced to take art class because of the grade requirements. So I remember being in that class, and I don't remember exactly what we were doing. We were learning about painting or whatever. Um, like specifically like painting of something. I, I, don't, I don't remember. I didn't pay attention too much in that class to be honest. But we were doing something. And class is continuing. It's actually a pretty quiet day in class. Not a lot of people talking or whatever. Um, not a lot of interruptions or anything. It was, it was a decent class period. Which is surprising because almost every class I had there was always some crazy shit going down right but this was a pretty normal day and um typically in that class it would be like okay yeah um we're gonna teach you how to do something then you actually try it for yourself and so once we got to that point we actually had to do it for ourselves we had an assignment to do so the teacher wasn't up uh, in the front of the room teaching or anything she was doing off doing her own thing um i had this urge to burp and I tried suppressing it because the room was kind of quiet, right? But it just didn't go too well. So I burped and I was like, oh crap, sorry, I, I didn't mean it. Uh, excuse me, right? I mean, I didn't say it exactly like that, but I was like, oh, excuse me, sorry. That's what I said. And I went back to doing my uh, classwork or not. I don't even know what I did after that, but <laughs> either way, I burped in class and I said, excuse me, sorry. I remember those exact words. And then the teacher called on me and I was like, yes, ma'am. And she goes, what did you just do? And I said, burp, but I said, excuse me. I didn't mean for it to be that loud. She's like, all right, well, you just disrespected me. You uh, interrupted the entire class. So now you're going to have to write 100 sentences on a paper. And I'm like, I, I, I didn't mean to burp. I didn't mean to interrupt the class. I didn't mean for it to be that loud. I, I'm sorry. I said, excuse me. And she's like, doesn't matter. You're in trouble. Get a, get a paper and pen out and start writing. And I'm like, okay, what do I have to write? And she's like, well, here's the sentence. She gives me, uh, she writes down on a piece of paper and then hands it to me. And it says, I will not disrespect uh, teacher's name, insert here, or interrupt the class ever again. And I'm like, I have to write this 
to fill up an entire paper front and back. All because I burped and said excuse me. Like, what? This is... This makes no sense, right? So I was kind of pissed, but, you know, I was just like, you know what, whatever. I'll do it uh, next period or whatever. I'll do it tomorrow, right before I have this. Because, like, I could write pretty fast. And um, honestly, I didn't even give a fuck how it uh, looked. If it looked like it couldn't, couldn't be read, if it was, like, so bad handwriting, I didn't care, right? But <laughs> I remember the next day after that, I didn't even start writing the uh, paper. But I remember telling all my friends about it. They're like, why would she do that? I'm like, I don't know. I guess she just hates me. I, I, I don't know. So then a uh, band comes around that day and I still haven't done the paper. And uh, while in band, I get out the paper to start writing it. And I'm writing super fast because next period is art class. So I'm like, okay, I, I gotta do this fast. I gotta do this fast. I gotta do this fast. Band period comes to an end. And I'm not done yet. I'm almost done. I'm on the back. I'm on the back paper. I'm on the back side of the paper, and I'm still writing. And the bell rings, and then I have to go to art class. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna pack most of my stuff up. And I'm gonna keep this pen and paper in my hands, and I'm gonna write on the way there. And once I get in, I would have the paper done and to be able to turn it in. So I do that. I'm I'm walking down the hall with paper in hand, I'm watch, trying to watch where I go, make sure I'm not running into anyone, but also making sure that I write down what I'm supposed to. And then I drop all my stuff. Everything just falls out of my uh, hands. Cause I, you know, I carry a binder. I guess I didn't close my binder all the way and everything just falls out. So I'm like, oh crap, now I'm gonna be late for art class. So <laughs> I, I, I sit down, I try to put everything uh, in my binder. I grab everything, late bell rings. All right, I'm already late. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not even done with my paper yet. Almost done, I got a few more lines. I'm pretty sure I can do that as soon as I get in there. And I'm like, okay, well, hopefully she's not in her classroom right now. So maybe she doesn't know I'm late because if I am late and she knows, then she's gonna send me to the office. She's gonna give me a, a, a late slip and I'm probably got detention or whatever, whatever the fuck, All right? So I'm like, okay, hopefully she's not in her classroom. Hopefully he can get there just in time and whatnot. So I walk in and she's sitting right by the door and she's like, why are you late? And I'm like, well, I was just finishing up this paper that I needed to do. She's like, you didn't even do it yesterday. I'm like, no, I just finished just now. I just got the last line done. And she's like, okay, well, you're late. So this doesn't even matter anymore. You're still in trouble. I'm like, great, just fantastic. So <laughs> I don't even know how that story ends, to be honest. I, 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 I was just more surprised that I had gotten in trouble for burping in class and saying excuse me, right? I, I believe that that teacher just didn't like me and just wanted to be an asshole, but I, I don't know. Just take this as a warning. If you were, if you were ever in art class, do not burp, go outside. You know, ask to use the restroom and then burp. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it, it's fucking wild. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I had a lot of incidents like this. Not just in junior high, but like all throughout high school as well. I, I was just, I know it sounds stupid and or cliche, but I had a lot of teachers out to get me. It was, it was insane. I, I don't even know why they didn't like me. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. I, of course, there were other teachers there. That, you know, I, I actually respected, they respected me. They were good people. Even some of them, I even I, I would even call my friends. There were some cool people there. But as the years went by, those cool teachers uh, either quit or got fired for whatever stupid reason. And then they would hire some teacher that probably wasn't even certified to be a teacher. And they were just assholes. So yeah, that, and that's another reason I dropped out of high school. It just was not a good, uh, was not a good school experience, let me tell you that much. I have a similar story, so if you want to hear it, I can tell it in another video. But basically, I had a teacher that would make fun of me because I was deaf in one ear. And uh, yeah, if you want to hear that, do let me know. So let me know if you've had any uh, similar experiences, and uh, this is Big Lugasai, and signing out.
Life is moving by, but I can't keep from asking why I wanna relive all those nights I'm gonna turn back time tonight Turn it all back. Used to have big dreams, wait